about this is Professor Cornell West, one of my favorites. He's a Dietrich Bonhoeffer chair at Union Theological Seminary. Dr. West, how on earth are kids supposed to understand what Will Smith did was wrong if he's not punished? Well, I think we have to recognize my sister that uh, all three of them, Sister Jada and Brother Chris and Brother Will, uh, that they're very good, decent people. They're great artists, but they're also good people. Good folk do that. Decent people do indecent things. I think Chris was actually wrong to tell that kind of joke. I don't like that kind of comedy where you laugh at rather than laugh with people. Richard Pryor, Pryor always laughed with. He didn't laugh at. But that's the way most comedians are these days. So Chris, genius that he is, he was still wrong, and Will was definitely wrong to get up and, 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 and hit him in that regard. But you can understand him being very upset because Sister Jada, who could defend herself, she's strong as, as both brothers. She could defend herself. But uh, uh, it, 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 get, it got out of hand. But I can tell you, I, I know all three of them, and they're really wonderful people. They just got caught in a situation that, uh, uh, and I think Jabbar has have some great insight. He has insight in this regard. They call it a situation where good people do some bad things and decent people do some indecent things. But deep down, they really are some very uh, wonderful people. Yeah, I, I've met some some uh, very um, remarkable inmates in my day. Um, I've done a lot of coverage in jails, and I've found some very good people locked up for doing bad things. And the reason they're locked up is because as society, you can be a good person, do bad things, but it doesn't mean you escape justice. And I, I want to play something if I can. I've been for 41 years and some of the best people I know behind bars, but the grandfather shouldn't go to jail. That's wrong, too. You see, so it's just a matter of trying to be consistent. Yeah, and all he used was a, a Sharpie, uh, and he was asked to do exactly. it, too, which is crazy. Exactly. So Jim Jim Carrey, um, he said this to, to Gail King on CBS this morning about uh, what he thought about the audience all standing up and giving a, a standing ovation after they'd witnessed the assault. So t take a look at what Jim Carrey had to say. I was sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless, en masse. And uh, it just... It really felt like, oh, this is a really clear indication that uh, we're not the cool club anymore. Dr. West, should the Oscars take some kind of an action uh, to try to, to fix this, to show that we're better than this and be a good person all you want, but you're going to have to pay a price for this, Will Smith? I mean, one, no, I don't think there ought to be any kind of punishment at, at all. But I'd say to Brother Jim, he's a towering talent, too that uh, Hollywood has, was never the cool guys or the cool gals. It's been a decadent place for a long time. They've been obsessed with celebrity, obsessed with glitz and blitz and spectacle and image. And this is just another example of the spiritual decay in the country doesn't exist everywhere else other than Hollywood. Hollywood is one of the grand exemplars of the spiritual decay. So if you're going to get standing ovations for all kinds of things that don't deserve it, I think we have to be very honest and very self-critical about this when, when we look at uh, celebrities and how they function and how they proceed. But on the other hand, I, I don't think that, uh, and I think you agree, Sister Ashley, I don't think one or two actions fully defines the character of a person. You see? That Will's character is, is still very strong. Jada is extraordinary. And Chris Rock is, is still very wonderful in his own way. I just wish his oh. jokes were Richard Pryor like, that's all. Understandable. So it, this, so I, call, I saw this today, and I have to read it to you. It's a fifth grade teacher, a retired fifth grade Ooh, teacher. Yeah. She wrote this about um, what she saw, and she, her name's Kay Montross. She said this, bigger than this one event is the impact on millions of children and adults. Children should be taught to be decent, kind, honest, loyal, hardworking, loving humans who will face consequences for their actions. Adults, step up. Get out of the gray area. We are drowning in it. The rate at which human decency is unraveling is appalling. We must teach, expect, demonstrate, encourage what is appropriate behavior. The apology is only a first step. Actions will show the sincerity of any apology. We must do better. Dr. West, what actions by Will Smith will fix this? Well, one, I just want to applaud those words. Those are very powerful words. 
but uh, I, I don't think that any, any particular punishment will fix it. You know, we got a militarism abroad, we're dropping drones on innocent people, killing them every day. We've got violence shot through America as a way of life. The last thing we want to do is root nine any kind of violence. That's why Brother Will is wrong, but I don't think it requires any kind of punishment. Chris Rock's got to cut back on the kind of linguistic violence and Jada and all of her majesty and all of her beauty that she deserves to be treated with respect and she can defend herself. She doesn't need her husband up there. She can defend Amen. herself absolutely. Yeah. Amen to that. Uh, Dr. West, I always love to have you on. Will you come on again? Oh, indeed. Indeed. Will you stay strong? Take care. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Good to see you. All right. Um